Hello Cancer, Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the week ahead, Cancer. How you doing? Thank you so much for clicking here. I've got a short uh, stack of oracles that we're going to be using this week. Uh, we're going to get some extra energy here, find out what the overall energy is for the read, and then we're going to go at some tarot. going to do a nine card draw for the tarot. Let's find out what's going on for you in the week ahead, Cancer. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Cancer, if you've been here before, you know what the deal is, right? You know that I always read for the week ahead. No matter if you get this reading today, tomorrow, or next year, it could resonate for you because it is always going to be for the week ahead. So Cancer, let's um, find out here what's going on for you. Um, if you are brand new and you're just rolling up in all these shenanigans here, welcome. There's a subscription button in the bottom right hand corner if you'd like to join us. This Cancer tribe is growing by leaps and bounds. So if you'd like to uh, be part of this tribe, love to have you. If you'd like to be in the comments around here, I hope you do too. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. We've got obstacles and challenges. Bottom of the deck, we have mental conflict. So there's something here that I feel that you're not taking action on, not taking a leap of faith on, because it feels like you're going to have to take a leap. It feels like you are going to have to jump this this crack in the sidewalk here. Yeah, and looks a little scary as you're looking from the top down, right? But I feel like all of those little yellow balls around there, they, it looks to me or feels to me like they are orbs. I want to say that your ancestors, loved ones, Everybody who has been cheering you on from the other side, I feel around you as you're kind of stuck in this energy of this mental conflict of maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that. Not really sure about how you should handle the situation. Tell me more about cancer. Tell me more about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. We have time to collaborate. You may need to get someone else in on the deal. It feels, uh, well, we got card number one. It feels like if you want to begin on this new path, you might need to call in the some friends. You might need to enlist some people to help you think something through. Um, time to collaborate, collaboration, right? These, these ants are building something together. I feel like if you're trying to build something, you might need to call in friends, family, people that you trust and love, possibly people from the other side for some of you, right? To in order to be able to go on this new path, it feels like you're going to need someone else's thoughts to get you out of this mental conflict, possibly to give you another um, perspective on whatever it is that you're trying to resolve here. We do have card number 16. It says trust in the divine detours. Card number 16 is the tower, I'm just going to say. And so I feel like you are going to have some sort of a tower coming up in the week ahead, but you're supposed to trust that this is a divine detour. Something that you wanted is not necessarily something you will get. I feel like there is an obstacle or a challenge, something that you're going to have to take a leap of faith on. And right now you're kind of stuck in the mind. I feel like it might take a tower to get you out of that cat. Cancer. Tell me more about Cancer, please. More about Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, if you're cross-watching. Thank you. Tell me about Cancer. We've got why. I feel like you're going to learn the why. You're going to learn why there was these obstacles and challenges for you to, to get through. You're going to learn why you were in this mental conflict and why the tower showed up. I feel like you're going to get some answers in the week ahead through this chaos and conflict. It does feel like the chaos and conflict might be coming from the tower. It also feels like it, it might be coming from you trying to be something or someone that you really is not you. I feel like in the week ahead as the tower shows up, I feel like for some of you, the mental conflict is, do I really show people who I truly am? Because we do have a, a zebra here that's been trying to be a um, giraffe, <laughs> right? And and all of the um, the coding is falling off here. And this, 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 uh, this zebra is is now um, showing its true colors, showing everybody who it is, right? So that could be your conflict that, that you don't really want to show people who you truly are. Cancer, you know, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't if I didn't go on and say, you know, uh, cancer, sometimes you can keep things under the surface. Sometimes sometimes you're the person cancer that knows everything about everyone, but no one knows a damn thing about you, no matter how long they've known you, that you keep it all under the surface. All right. 
I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I think that's kind of strategic and cool, honestly. <laughs> it's uh, it's very much a talent. All right. <laughs> Tell me what's going on for cancer, please. Two more. Ooh, that one jumped right out. Communicate. All right. All right. Balance. I like it. So the first one that came out is recognition. So we've got um, obstacles and challenges. I feel like somebody here that doesn't, it feels like somebody's about to blow the top off, like the lid off, like they're about to expose you. And I don't mean in a bad way, that they're about to call you out on your feelings or um, uh, they're about to give you some sort of admiration or recognition. And I think it makes you squirm under the surface just a little bit, Cancer, that somebody's kind of realized or figured you out. That's what it feels like here. We've got uh, communicate and we've got that on time to collaborate. So I feel like that there is somebody here that is in your life, probably on a pretty consistent basis, a friend, a member of the family, possibly a best friend, or maybe even someone that you have your eye on in terms of love. Um, but it feels like somebody here is about to figure you out. Uh, we've got receive, express the truth. So somebody might come to you and say, look, I can help you out, but you just got to be honest with me. If you're at the beginning of something and you're in some sort of mental conflict, I can help you out of that. It feels like somebody has kind of got your number. You're going to find out why all of this is going on because it's going to come to a place of balance here. Um, juggling too many things at once, finding time for yourself. So in the moments when you are by yourself is when you're going to come to be able to answer this question, why the chaos and the conflict? Why is the tower going down? Why am I in this mental conflict here? All right, bottom of the deck, we have Twin Flame. It could be that. For some of you, um, you know, the Twin Flame is... is um, uh, I'll let you do your research on twin flame energies, but it is it is deeper than a soulmate connection. It's actually two people that come together and try and get each other across the finish line. It's about an ascension period. Um, it's uh, some people believe that the whole purpose of a twin flame um, connection is love. Um, I don't believe that. I believe that you're here to. Um, come together and teach each other lessons. A twin flame doesn't have to be someone you're in love with. It could be your child. It could be it could be your partner. It could be your brother, your sister, your friend, your best friend. Um, somebody who you have a really, really deep connection with. Somebody who isn't scared to mirror you. Somebody who's teaching you things. And uh, someone that you would have regular conflict with because they are teaching you things. It's really the whole purpose of the twin flame connection here. All right. So, uh, Cancer, if you're interested in a private read, please know that I do have private reads available. Um, right now is the calm before the storm here, and uh, we are getting into the holiday season, which is going to make things uh, a lot busier. So right now is the calm if you want to get in and have a reading done uh, um, with uh, in less than 10 days. Please check that pinned comment below the video. All right, tell me what's coming up here for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus and Jupiter. All right. Well, there we go. Cancer we asked for, and Cancer did appear. We've got the Chariot. We've got the Page of Wands, and we've got the Magician. Determined to get on a new path. Determined for something new. It feels like your mental conflict is about taking some sort of a leap of faith. And I feel like the leap of faith is what we're seeing here. Somebody who's not sure if they want to leap the gorge, if they want to step across the path. If, if, the, other, if the other side will hold me, maybe I will step across, but maybe I might have to leap. It feels like... It feels like it's there's going to be some sort of uncomfortable recognition. And um, the... I feel like it's uh, you're going to want to move away from the recognition because it makes you uncomfortable just a little bit. But it almost feels like you don't want to run. You do want to run, but you don't want to run. And it feels like what you do want is excitement and fun and flirting. And um, the page of wands is like throwing the wand in the air. I'm going to go wherever the wand lands, right? It's like throwing throwing darts at a map, right? And the, the the magician energy tells me that you have all the tools that you need in order to have anything that you want, but maybe the mental conflict is you're not sure which way you want to go yet. Could be that. Tell me more about cancer. We've got the five of swords. Center of the reading is the Seven of Swords, and we have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, 
we've got the Two of Swords, we've got the Seven of Cups, and we've got the King of Cups. There you are. Overall energy is the moon. You know what? I um, As I was first shuffling, the moon fell out of the deck, but I wasn't ready to call it, so I picked it back up and put it back in. So the moon, I feel, is here because the bottom is the future energy, and this is the week ahead, so this is the week after that. So there's moon energy here. Um, with the Empress. So this is this is the whole deal here. Whether this is a feminine or a masculine Empress, I feel like this is what it is. You're unsure about the Empress. I feel like you're going to have some sort of a realization. You're going to need to test trust and divine detours here, but I feel like right now you're living in some sort of a mental chaos until you have a realization or a recognition that you need to Take a leap of faith if this is what you want. I think the Page of Wands is urging you to take some sort of a leap of faith into some sort of a collaborative effort. It feels like you want to partner with somebody. You want someone to be your partner. Maybe it's a partner in business, but it is the beginning of something because this card is card number one. It is the beginning of uh, collaboration with somebody else. Time to collaborate. Ants are beautiful collaborators, right? Have you ever watched a, a documentary on ants? It's pretty wonderful. Um, so I feel like you're going to commute communicate that to someone, that you do want to be part of their life, that you do want to be in collaboration with them, but you're not really sure where it goes from here. You do see this person's worth, but I, I feel like it's going to take, take a tower possibly to make you trust um, that you're not in control, that that there is a higher power that is in control here. That you're supposed to be um, watching, waiting, and following. That it's not always about controlling the ending, right? Controlling, uh, it's about taking the detours, enjoying the detours, enjoying the, um, enjoying the journey. All right. So I feel like this past energy here, the chariot, the page of wands, and the magician, it feels like you're really raring to go. I want to say you're in balance. I feel like your masculine, feminine energies are in balance. Life is coming back to a realignment. And I feel like you're about to recognize that, that things are kind of going the way that you want them to, but you come to this place, the fork in the road, where you need to take a leap of faith or not, or go back. I feel like it's a hard thing for you. The Five of Swords is here, that you're not sure if you and the Empress are actually in the same place mentally, right? There's mental conflict. Are we going to be able to collaborate? Maybe we need to communicate about that, but communication could be hard because maybe we have very different ideas of what we think life should be like. It feels like um, you're worried that um, you're not going to get all the details, that something's going to be hiding and that something will surprise you at some point, that maybe like this person doesn't really want to put the effort in. I feel like what you're trying to avoid here is a pitfall of being hurt by someone, um, by someone rejecting you. I think that's what you're trying to avoid here. Tell me what the Five of Swords is, please. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you might be single at this time and quite abundant, doing well on your own. Um, the Chariot tells me that you're, you're very much in um, balance at this time with your energies. We've got the King of Swords. So you need to make the final decision. The final decision is, do we try and talk this out? Do we try and get into some sort of collaborative communication? Or do I make the final ruling the one that's best for everyone involved? Do I make it a solo decision? Do I decide just to go? Because the five and the one sword in the hand of the king is the sixth sword. It is the final the final um, say, right? And so maybe the final say is you just want to stay single. Maybe you just want to stay in this energy of being abundant and confident and doing what I want when I want to do it without having to be badgered for a morning text and a night text and being told where to do, where to go, what to do and when to, what, when to be there and do it. Um, we do have the chariot again. Your energies come up twice. That is cancer energy. So I think you have a decision to make. Are you going that way or are you going this way? I feel like you you have a decision to make it this time. And um, <laughs> I love this because we have the little, the little cat that's riding shotgun here. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, but I feel like you have to make a decision Either way, it's a decision of movement. You've got to make a decision to either stay single or um, open some sort of collaborative communication with somebody here. Why is the Seven of Swords at the heart of the matter? It feels like you're, I always, like Cancer, I feel like you're a person that knows everything about everyone, but nobody knows anything about you really. And so I feel like that's what the Seven of Swords is. It doesn't feel like it's anything sinister. It feels like it's um, 
Maybe I shouldn't trust the situation. They don't know everything about me. I haven't told them everything about me. Maybe that's why they think that we're a good fit. Maybe that's why they want to collaborate in business or in love. Um, we do have the Three of Pentacles. Again, the Three of Pentacles is growth. So this is a friendship at this point. This is um, a, a friendship. We talk maybe on the phone. Maybe we text each other every day. It feels like um, that we're at this place. Maybe we work together. Maybe we're teaching each other things. That person is teaching you things. You're teaching them things. It is collaborative, right? We've got the two of pentacles. But you're feeling, sometimes you feel a little bit in lack. Feeling like maybe right now you have too many balls in the air. Maybe you're juggling too many things, Cancer, and you just don't need another thing on your plate. I feel like you're in this place of being hopeful that things are going to clear themselves up, that you'll be able to be honest, but also that I feel like you're in a place of healing right now. I feel like you're juggling a lot of things. Among those things, I feel like you're in a financial place right now where you're not really interested in bringing anyone else into that situation because I feel like you're feeling in lack. Whether someone else would see that as lack or not is, is another thing, but I feel like you're being hard on yourself. I feel like you're feeling in lack. So you're keeping this person in the friend zone. If it is a person we're talking about, it feels like this is friend zone energy. The page of pentacles in the reverse tells me you're not putting any energy in. You're not, you're not telling them your feelings. You're not telling them you don't have feelings. You're just kind of leaving it, not really putting much energy into it. If they put energy into it, so do you. But I feel like you're not specifically putting a whole pile of energy because I feel like right now maybe your life is not really all that stable or according to you maybe it's not really all that stable but I feel like you're really determined to stabilize it whatever it is the chariot is here we do have um, the ace of pentacles we do have the queen of cups and we have the nine of cups. I feel like this, if we're talking about a person cancer, I feel like this person makes you really happy. I feel like you feel comforted in their energy. This is, you know, the, the queen of cups is cancer. It is your energy. But we have the nine of cups here as well. And we have the king of cups. We have Scorpio, Pisces, cancer. So I feel like we are dealing in water energy. And I feel like it's almost like you've already emotionally invested in this. But you're trying to sort of play it coy that you really don't want this person to know that you have these deep, deep feelings for them. Uh, you really do see this per person's worth. You see that they are a happy person. They are content. They are at peace. And I feel like you are holding, like waving this ace of pentacles in the air. But I think you're the only one that can see it, to be honest. Because although I feel like with the two of pentacles here, we have two more pentacles here, I feel like you're closed off to the idea at this time. It feels like it has something to do with balance, emotional balance, financial balance. Like it feels like you, you want to get things in balance. I feel like we just figured out the why. Yeah, it feels like you're juggling too many things all at once and you need to find time for yourself. And you know that if you get into a business plan, a business partnership, a relationship partnership, that you know that you're no longer going to have that time for yourself. And so then we have in the future energy, which is not the week ahead, but the week after that, we have the Two of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Cups. I feel like you're ready. Like you're emotionally available. You're emotionally there. Um, it feels like you are... Um, your heart chakra is open. I want to say that you do have deep emotional feelings for this person. I think it is someone who has deep emotional feelings for you. The king and the queen of cups are here. I feel like we do have feelings, but it's still very confusing. And I'm not willing to see the situation for what it is just yet. Tell me about the uh, two of swords, please. It feels like you're... You're, you don't want to look at the situation because all you're going to see is all this emotion, all this love, because that's what you are. You're very deep, emotional love. Like, yeah, if somebody were to take the top off, it would all fly out the top, right? Like, I feel like you're, you're trying to keep things under the surface and trying to feel the situation out before you make any decisions here. Because, yeah, I feel like there is really big, big... Um, connection like I feel like there's a a lot of charisma there's a lot of attraction I feel like there are two people who 
are incredibly attracted to each other, each other's energy or physically or whatever it is. I feel like you're attractive, they're attractive, and together you guys are like, boom. It feels like it's a real attractive energy here. And so what I think you're doing here is you're like, I can't even look at it because it's going to end up in some sort of situationship and that's not what I want. So I feel like that's why you're kind of playing it stoic right? Playing it under the surface, not letting this person, it's like you're trying to hold in your feelings because you have an incredible attraction to this person. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups brings the Tower, the Two of Swords again, and the Four of Pentacles. The thing is this, is I feel like you are feeling confused and overwhelmed, but I feel like there's a tower, right? I was just saying that at the beginning of this, we have card number 16, right? And it says, trust in divine detours. And so I feel like here comes the detour. It's not next week, it's the week after. And I feel like the detour is, is that you're about to take off the, you're about to take off the blindfold here. So um, it feels like you stop feeling things out and now you're seeing things for what they really are. And the Four of Pentacles is telling me that you're kind of holding on for dear life as the tower takes you through this very emotional, overwhelming time. It does feel like it's um that you're you're coming to a place where you have to make a decision. And you know, you know that if you don't make a decision, you could miss your opportunity. That's what it feels like. Tell me about the King of Cups, but you're keeping it all under wraps here. King of Cups brings uh, the Seven of Pentacles. So you're working really hard to keep your feelings under the surface about somebody here. Or if somebody wants you to go into maybe a business partnership that you don't want to show them how eager you are to do it. We've got the Magician. And we've got the Knight of Cups. But I feel like there's a determination here. Like I feel like right now with the with the um, the Knight, uh, sorry, the Five of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles that you're working super hard to hold back. It's like you're trying to hold back, you're fighting yourself, you're holding back, trying to tell yourself, I'm in balance, I'm in balance, I'm in balance. I feel like this, this connection with the King and the Queen of Cups, you and whoever it is who is the other water sign, um, I feel like, or maybe a Libra possibly, is somebody who's going to bring your life into balance, and I think that you were worrying for nothing. I feel like you've been stuck in this place in your mind for a while. We've got the Two of Swords three times here. So Six Swords tells me that you've been trying to leave this or run away or move. Like, it feels very chaotic that you have to make a decision, but it feels like you've been working really hard on holding back from this person. Um, the King of Cups here with the Knight of Cups, I feel like you really do have a lot of uh, romantic feelings for somebody here, and you've been working really, really hard at keeping stoic. I feel like you're very determined to keep stoic until the point at which your chaos um, uh, dissipates. Because I feel like you're going through a couple of towers. I also feel like there's already chaos and conflict that's got you in this mental place where you can't really move from. But I think that the why we have is that first you must get balance. That's why you're not moving forward or letting someone know how you feel or sharing more than than you usually would with somebody else. I feel like this is good because in this process, I feel like you two are getting to know each other really well without getting emotions involved, which I think is a really great thing. I'm going to leave this right here, Cancer. Thank you so much for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. I'm going to go for now, but I will be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye-bye.